Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce, and we are on day seven of our 30-day shadow work challenge. Now, just to note, um, this week, just for this week, there will be no Hathor material or Return of the Divine Sophia material just because of the challenge going on. I am also finalizing all of my course material for our yoga intensive that is coming up on November 20th. We still have one spot left for that. So if you want to take that spot, I'll put a link down in the description box below. So you can look at that. Um, I also know that some people have emailed me to jump into the challenge right now. I'll be sending you the challenge um, a little bit later today. It's hard for me on Sundays to check my email because I'm out of the house most Sundays. I'm, I teach outside of the house on Sundays. So um, you should be getting that challenge from me today to join the challenge uh, where we are. And we are having so much fun, guys, over on our Signal group. Again, I'll put a link to that in the description box below if you want to join the Signal support group. A lot of people in there helping each other through this and um, really working hard to, to, to work on their own shadow. So let's go ahead and talk about, let me see here, i got to pull up the challenge itself. So let's go ahead and look at what we're up to today and tomorrow. So for today, Monday, November 7th, you had to do Marnie Alton's uh, bar again, the, 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 the original exercise you started with. And so I'm curious if you notice any differences, like was it a little bit easier? Are you starting to see your body change? Uh, there's a, a magic with exercise and, and yoga we call it the Mysore magic where something you thought was impossible all of a sudden starts to become possible is that are you starting to experience that you had the option to add in a uh, stronger nurses 20 minute be beginner yoga if you wanted to then of course you had the five minute cold shower and meditation which we spoke about yesterday so i will link that video down in the description box below if you missed that and of course today you're starting a new task which is food journaling so again everything you eat write it down. I don't care if it's a Snickers bar. I don't care if it's an apple, whatever you ate, I want you to write it down. You're the only person looking at this. And so nobody's watching you. Nobody's judging you. This is just an experiment to see for you to start to see how your body is actually responding to food. The programmers, the controllers have had us believe one thing for a very long time about health and food, and it's simply not true because everybody is going to respond to food differently. Every human body carries different dispositions, and we need to match that with the food. I'm looking to do a longer roundtable or a bigger roundtable with a bunch of other people to talk about this um, phenomenon of body energy and food. Um, that should be coming up in the future. All right, your journals were, how do you feel a week after the challenge? You've been doing this for a week. Are you starting to feel burnt out? Are you getting tired? Are you feeling excited? Do your clothes fit differently? Are you noticing muscle toning? Is the exercise getting easier? Is going to bed getting easier earlier? How is your overall feeling and mood progressing through this? What new emotions are coming up for you? Um, how did you like the all meditation? Was it different from the sound bowl healing? Okay. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, November 8th, we start kickboxing. Now, I really like this lady, this trainer that I'm using for kickboxing. She has a lot of different kickboxing stuff on our channel, which you can see for yourself when you do it tomorrow. However, however, if you're at the place right now with where maybe you're still very much overweight or there's some stuff going on and the kickboxing is not going to work for you physically now, then please go back to the bar, okay? And just let your body adapt before doing the kickboxing. Now, with the kickboxing, you do have the option to add in, again, Ashtanga Nurse's 20-minute beginner yoga. This I added in because she doesn't do much stretching. And stretching is super, super, super important to flush everything. So that's why I added that in. Um, and don't, if you can't do the kickboxing yet, don't worry about it. Your body is constantly changing. And so allow the changes to occur before you add in something that's not good for you in the moment. Remember, nature is always changing. And so if it's not good for you right now, who cares? Go back to the bar and then periodically look back at the kickboxing and see how you're feeling. All right. Then you will again take a, your, your shower, last five minutes, make it cold. I Somebody in the group said they did 10 minutes of a cold shower, which is amazing. Um, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people getting used to the cold showers, actually liking the cold showers. I love my cold showers in the morning. They really help me. Um, I wish I could have taken a longer one this morning because I'm feeling quite congested this morning. But um, 
But anyway, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll take a longer cold shower. All right, so you're going to do the all meditation again today for a second time, and then or tomorrow, sorry, we're talking about tomorrow. And then you're going to have your food journal again. All right, so when you do the kickboxing tomorrow, I'm really curious to see what happens. So and if you hear noises outside, they are doing yard work. So I apologize if you could hear those noises. So how did you like the kickboxing? Did you feel any anger come out? Did you feel any release with these particular moves that are different with the bar and the yoga? If kickboxing was too much for you, were you okay with going back to the bar? So did your ego flare up? If you were like, oh shit, I can't do the kickboxing. It's too much. I have to go back to the bar. Was there an ego flare up? If so, just acknowledge it, journal it, and then move on. Remember that using exercise for shadow work is using exercise in a different way than you do for sports or perform performance. Sorry, they're really loud outside. How is, how is using exercise as a modality to trigger the emotional body new for you or different for you? So is this a new concept, using your body to create friction to show you where your wounds are? Is this new for you? It's a new way of looking at exercise versus maybe how you were trained in the matrix system through sports or through weight loss. Okay. Sorry guys, I was just getting my, my temperature checked. <laughs> Um, okay, so are you seeing exercise in a different way? Are you starting to see your body as an information highway of all of your personal coordinates of friction? If you're a competitive person, are you starting to realize that using exercise for emotional healing means that there is no competition? There's no competition. If so, is this liberating? Are you experiencing soreness still, or is it a new soreness? Are you opting to add in the 20-minute yoga with the required um I think that's a typo there, guys. <laughs> I meant the required exercise. Or are you opting just to add in um, the required exercise? Why did you pick to do or not do the extra 20 minutes? There are no wrong answers, only true answers. How is day two of the all meditation affecting you? List five things that you like about yourself. List five things you're grateful for today. Reflect on all three on, on the three new things you learned about yourself over the past week so again this is for tomorrow um the kickboxing all right and then you're gonna look three people in the eyes and smile at them turn off all electronics one hour before bed you know this um, so anyway same same as normal for the closing out of tomorrow now again let's talk about the kickboxing one more time so i just want to reiterate that a lot of people do have anger issues and kickboxing is a great modality to channel anger issues what are anger issues well anger issues are really just a lot of hurt and a lot of pain coming up in someone frustrated with their own hurt and their own pain. The hurt and pain that people experience doesn't always come out as anger issues for every person. So for me, when I am hurt, like deeply hurt, which obviously we all have a lot of hurt we have to work through. So when I'm deeply hurt, I take it out in different ways. So like when I'm deeply hurt, I'm more of a self sabotager. I'll do things more to myself right? That then do onto other people, but people, other people will channel that differently. And a lot of that does come from your, how you were raised, um, your disposition. So if you're predominantly Pitta, then you might have a lot of fire, which will lead to you channeling hurt with, with what we call anger issues, if that makes sense. So my second dosha is Pitta, but it doesn't feed into my anger. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Like when I get really angry, I just cry and then I self-sabotage. Like I don't do I don't project that out onto other people when I'm really, really angry. So um, so I want you guys to be aware of that. So if you are a Pitta, if you've done your doshas and you know you're predominantly Pitta, recognize that about yourself. Do you have anger issues? Do you feel the need to punch something every now and again? And if so, then the kickboxing is going to be really, really, really good for you. Before I let you go, actually, let's go ahead and look at the kickboxing uh, for tomorrow's uh, for t tomorrow's exercise. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit out of it today. I apologize. Um, let me see here. Where is she? Here she is. So I'm going to pause this quickly because I got to turn the sound off so I don't get hit with a copyright. Um, we love our fellow content creators on YouTube. I really want all these people who have these exercise channels to continue to be prosperous. So I don't mind um, them having commercials like this or any type of like 
advertisements and obviously i understand i respect the, the the copyright thing so i have the music off right now she actually has really good music though so you're gonna see i, I really enjoy I've, I've done this video from time to time i actually really enjoy her and her choreography in her movement isn't that complicated so she, it's pretty easy choreography to follow she does a lot of kicking and she um you see all sorts of ladies of different sizes in here working it's no equipment so you don't have to worry about the equipment now you can opt to do this with shoes or without shoes. Now, I opt to always do exercise without shoes because it helps the kinetic chain of your body. So the more that you crack your feet, the more that you're able to get your feet to work as they're supposed to work without shoes, it's gonna kinetically be a domino effect up your body. But with that being said, if you are more comfortable wearing the tennis shoes for this workout than wearing your tennis shoes or your sneakers as the Northerners call it, or your trainers as our English friends call it. So totally, totally, totally up to you and where you are. Okay, and so this is only 45 minutes. It pretty much starts in the very, very beginning. But like I said, she doesn't incorporate that much stretching. So if you do feel like you need that good stretch, then I would incorporate uh, 20 minutes, the Ashtanga nurse's 20 minutes of beginner yoga just to make sure you get kind of the, the blood flowing, right? So that's it, guys. Um, again, this, this trainer right here, she has a full channel full of um, all sorts of different workouts and there is going to come a time in the next coming weeks where you're going to get to pick your workout and so i wanted to show you her channel in case you really resonate with her and you want to do more stuff with her later on again that's another reason why in this shadow work channel i our challenge i've picked a bunch of different exercises and so that you have the opportunity to experience different things so that you have more knowledge when you proceed forward after this channel how to continue working on yourself what is working for you what is not working for you and so you you know knowledge is power knowledge protects and the more you know the more you can plan accordingly to do the work at hand all right, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Again, any questions you have, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.